Big time actors are often smart business people too. But there's one vintage Hollywood actress who put the rest of Tinseltown to techie shame. Aside from being one of the biggest movie stars of her day, she was also a disruptive inventor. Without her, your why might not be by, and your tooth might not be blue. The actress I'm talking about was Hedy Lamar, a silver screen siren in the 1940s and 50s. You don't look like an art editor. More like a work of art. Mr. Colton, I think you're a very dangerous man. During our first season in 2015, I spoke with Richard Rhodes, who authored a book about Lamar's scientific innovations called Hetty's Folly. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Mo. Nice to see you. Wonderful to see I met you with too. the Henry Ford Museum's Catherine White to revisit this amazing yeah. story. Oh, in 1940, when Europe was at war, but the United States was still neutral, the Germans began torpedoing English shipping, even civilian shipping. So she decided that what she could contribute would be a radio-guided torpedo. But she was also aware that the problem with radio control was that it was easy to jam the signal. Hetty's idea was if the signal could hop around from frequency to frequency and could be synced with the torpedo's receiver, then the signal wouldn't be jammable because no one would be able to keep up with all the changes of frequency. Frequency hopping and its kind of more sophisticated successor, which is called spread spectrum, that is used today in Bluetooth, in cell phones, in GPS, and the idea originated with Hedy Lamar. Hedy Lamar was kind of a double disruptor. There's what she did for technology, and then there's the fact that she was a Hollywood star with a Thomas Edison brain. Yeah, she was a force of a woman, right? She was a talented actress who had this brilliant mind. People still remember her for her beauty, but she was beautiful and also so much more than that. What she did was really important, yes? this frequency hopping concept that she created, it was rigorous and well-researched. It wasn't just this simple flash of genius that has been described. It was genius, but it was quite difficult to understand the mechanisms behind these issues. I mean, what would we do without our Wi-Fi in our pocket or a GPS in our pocket? I'd be lost all the time. Towards the end of her life, was she celebrated? Was she recognized? She never received a, a cent for her patent. It wasn't until just a few years before her death that she was um, properly awarded and celebrated. And when this happened, her words were, it's about time. Hedy Lamar's inspired innovation was more than a gift to science and the military. It's a gift that keeps on giving to each of us every day.